Hey guys, this is Spartan117GW, and this is kind of the overview um, of my Haley Strategic Chest Rig. Now, I did put up a video with my good buddy, Chris Bast. He's the president of Warfighter Airsoft, and uh, he did a little review of his Haley Strategic Chest Rig. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. Uh, he's an 0311, so he's an infantry guy from the Marine Corps. He just uh, got out, but it kind of gives you his perspective from a combat arms perspective. Now, I'm not combat arms, but... I do appreciate tactical gear, you know, I have a pretty decent amount of knowledge about it. And, uh, you know, as soon as I saw this was on the market, I, I picked it up, like, right away. And there's actually a little meme picture that Breach Bang Clear did of me, and I was actually wearing this chest rig. Now, one of the things that's really cool about this chest rig, well, for one, it's in Cryptek. Uh, Haley Strategic has, uh, you know, made a deal with, um, you know, Cryptek, so they got all the new uh, patterns and everything. You can get it in multicam, you can get it, um... You can get the vest in pretty much all the other standard colors, Coyote Brown, Multicam Green, OD Green, or Black. But uh, I chose to get it in Cryptek. As you can see, it goes really well with uh, my Cryptek kit. I love my Cryptek hat. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of Cryptek. Uh, one of the things that's really cool, though, is that it's a very, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a unique approach to the chest rig uh, design, I guess you could say. It has two pouches right here, as you can see for administrative uses. You could put an incog holster um, you know, on either side, depending, but I'm pretty sure it was designed to go on this side. Uh, Travis Haley demonstrated it, and I'm pretty sure the guys at G-Co designed it, and uh, it worked. I mean, this pouch really fits just perfectly with that. Um, it also has two uh, pouches up front. Uh, you can use multi-tools, or pistol magazines, whatever you prefer, and it's right because it'll it'll work with single stack or double stack, you know, whatever kind of pistol magazines that you're running. The retention's pretty good too, and it's got a little magnetic plate in here, so it'll kind of conform to whatever you put in there. Of course, they have the um, multi-tool in there as well, and it kind of shows you the different uh, things that you can do with it. That's what I used it for. It's really good, actually. I think it's gonna be really popular to have your multi-tool in one of these, but uh, it works great. Now you have the Stuff It pouch here. The Stuff It pouch is what Travis Haley says is a user configurable you know, pouch, basically, whatever you want to put in there. One thing that I found that it actually works pretty good for is the Surefire magazine. Now this was a real 60, uh, 60 round Surefire magazine. Hopefully I'll get to burn some people with this one day. But yeah, um, this pouch basically you can put all kinds of different things in there. One of the things that you can also put in there if you play if you're playing airsoft or if you're you know, doing real ups, different types of grenades, bangers, um, this is just a Elite Force, you know, Thunder Beat grenade, but it kind of gives you an idea size-wise of what you could put in there. I mean, smoke grenades, what what have you, you know, any kind of um, other ordnance like that you can put in here. You can put knives in there, you can put uh, any kind of SSC equipment in there, all that type of stuff. Or, yeah. Or, yeah. But, um... And you also have the same uh, admin pouch on the other side. Now, when I'm actually playing or doing scenario training or simulations like that, I'll usually carry like a dead rag in here, maybe some extra ammo, extra battery, whatever, what have you, whatnot. You know, it's it's a great pouch to put those other you know things that that are out in the market. You can also put um, an ITS uh, tactical um, everyday carry a medical aid kit, first aid kit in here. Everyday carry basically, and it's it's great. It'll fit in here. Uh, that way, because you basically you're carrying an IFAC that's not like as big as your typical IFAC, uh, which is individual first aid kit. If you don't know, and as you can see, I have four P mags set up here. What's great about these pouches too, they'll fit a whole different bunch of types of magazines too. I'm not for AK mags; it's a little tight, but they will fit in there. But perfectly fine for M4 mags, as you can see. And what's great about this design is it really allows you to, um, you know, kind of increase your mobility but it gives you the ability to, to carry pretty much just what you need now it's not a typical chest rig where you have like 12 mags on there so if you're running this chest rig it's more for mobility for versatility for in, you know, getting in and out of vehicles or if you're on like a light patrol or something because four mags and a full-on firefight really ain't gonna cut it <clears throat> but one thing that's really cool is the way they designed this chest rig is how it integrates with the vest. Now, it works great with Mayflower vests. I don't have one of the Mayflower vests. I have the Bees Combat System uh, Low Viz uh, Slick Plate Carrier. And what's great is that it actually has the vertical molly so I can attach the um, the Swift Clip, or the, I think it's the Swift Clip System from Mayflower, which is what all these you know clips are designed to integrate with. Um, one thing that I didn't like is I actually had to buy those separately. So, 
you gotta get some stuff out, outside the original package in order to integrate it with a vest. But once you do, it's definitely a great system to have. And let me just demonstrate how easy it is for this vest to come off. So, I'm just gonna hit all these little clips here. And as you can hear, there's Velcro backing on the back. Now, that kind of just helps secure it to whatever slick platform that you have. But there's actually a cover for this. I just don't have it on right now. Um, for when you're just running it as an actual chest rig. And as you can see, it is pretty uh, flat, pretty pretty um, compact in size. Uh, when it has these shoulder straps on there, they attach right here. And uh, there's also some other straps that attach on the back here as well. But this is how I typically run it. I run it on my plate carrier. And you know, when you're getting in and out of vehicles, it's definitely great because you can have your body armor on. You can have this sitting next. Sit, uh, you can have this sitting next to you or wherever it is. And then when you have to you know, exfil the vehicle and go somewhere and do something, you can grab it and you can literally just clip it on. Let's see if I can put that speedy man up there. Okay, got one. Make this one really ah, There we go. Two, three, four. Five and six. So basically you've gone from low profile or slick to a higher profile kit in a matter of seconds really. I mean, for me it took a little longer than I really anticipated, but uh, as you can see, it's it's really versatile. I mean, and it's it's got so many different you know, variations of equipment that you can put on here. And it's, it's really designed for the light fighter, I guess. You know, the guy who wants to be fast, mobile, have that versatility, but obviously you're not carrying like a whole combat load of you know ammunition on here. If you really want to augment a system like this, maybe something like the high, high speed gear uh, Costa rig or something to carry another load of ammo would, would probably go well with this because there's obviously no molly on the front to add another stack of magazines. But obviously if you're running something like this, you're really not really going too high profile. I mean, it's only got four mags on it, but, but it's great. It you know kind of keeps you light keeps you thinking about what is it that you need to bring and it keeps you from bringing all this other extra crap that you don't need and it basically just keeps you mission essential so my thoughts on this is a great rig when I was running it with just the rig without the uh, plate carrier it's awesome for when you're doing real steel or if you're doing airsoft or whatever I mean it's it's great especially for the summer chest rigs are really wonderful for the summer because of how hot it gets outside but I, I love this thing and it's it's so functional I mean I, I, I literally loaded this thing down with just about everything that I could put in it that I needed, of course. And I had no problems. Um, for me, I had to tighten all the way down because I'm a small guy, but it, it'll fit just about anybody. And uh, as you can see, it's definitely configurable if you have a pre-existing Mayflower or a Bees Combat System plate carrier that has that vertical molly here and there, and if it has the uh, Velcro on the slick front or something, then you're good to go. You can go from chest rig to you know, fully decked out plate carrier in a matter of seconds. So this is the slick configuration. I'm going to show you how easy and how quick it is to attach the D3 chest rig to a platform such as this. First thing you want to do, remove all the harnesses, all the extra stuff, the Velcro backing. So you just have the platform like so. First thing you're going to want to do is attach the two clips here at the top. That's one side. One side. Typically what I let it do, I kind of let it sit naturally, kind of secure it with the Velcro. And then I go ahead and attach the uh, the other clips that I have on the vest. As you can see, swapped out that quick. Um, basically I have the full chest rig assembled. And what's great is if you have a different platform with different weapons, maybe you're running a different handgun or a different rifle and you happen to have multiple ones of these, you can have this one system, this one vest, and just swap out multiple D3 chest rigs, which is which is great. It's, it's a really good system, and uh, it's what I like also about it is too, is it's really light, and it's really versatile. So, if you guys like D3, make sure to check it out. And, um, you know, if, if you want to purchase it, go to HaleyStrategic.com. Um, that is where you can get this new nylon gear that they're making, and who knows what they're going to come up with next. But until next time, this is Spider 117 GW. Thank you guys for watching. I'm James C. Burns, play Sergeant Frank Wars in Call of Duty Black Ops 1 and 2. It's time for you to subscribe to Spartan 117GW, baby. <laughs>